fans were watching the game anxiously in Josh Gossler's hometown of Port Washington, and their cheering paid off. Michelle Fiore is live at the patio with some very happy fans. Michelle. You know it, Shannon. Well, family, friends, and fans have packed this bar that is owned by Josh Gosser's uncle. Take a look behind me. It's a repeat of what they did last year when the Badgers also met the Wildcats in the Elite Eight. Same scene one year later. Once again, the Badgers took down the Wildcats, exciting fans back home. We are so incredibly proud. It's unbelievable. They wanted it. They wanted it bad. They played their hearts out, and they won. An emotional night in Port Washington. Wisconsin pulled ahead early, but a three-pointer by Arizona gave them the edge. The Badgers were down at the half, but fans didn't give up. We always do better in the second half. Calm down and, yeah. Second half, back at it. Fans like Amanda Kinchy, who grew up across the street from Gosser, just knew the Badgers have what it takes. And Josh has been schooling us all in basketball pretty much since he's been like five years old. So <laughs> The Gosser family is excited for the next step. Barry, we're going to Indianapolis. It's going to be cool as hell. This is the year, I think. I think this is the year. Tonight I'll call him. Uh, what are you going to say to him? I love you. You did amazing. Yeah. And, I'm proud of you. and I'm proud of you. Well, the final four is next for these guys. The Gosser family does plan to travel to Indianapolis for it. Last year, they took 55 family members to Dallas. And since it's closer this time, you're going to be even more out in Indy. Reporting live in Port Washington, Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. All right, Michelle, if Uncle Jeff is still in the house, you ask him, do I still have a seat in the car? Because that's what he promised me I'm earlier this him. week. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. I'm going to ask him.